Fraser, AKA iNabber, just made his response video to the Alfie Deus slash Jackmate slash I'm Alex situation. And this is something that I've actually been thinking about since it happened. So let's talk about it and see what we can discuss. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I do all sorts of stuff, but the overall message I'm trying to get out there is take the content that you're watching, see what you can learn from it to improve your own life. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So some of you have noticed I've done a little bit of rebranding. The intro is slightly different. Uh, my banner is different talking more about social commentary. So in this video, I am definitely putting on the old commentary hat. So yes, uh, Fraser just released a video. He finally spoke about the situation with um, Alfie Deus. He and I'm Alex both went on his podcast. Jackmate made a video. I'm Alex did a live stream. Fraser kind of stayed out of it. And yeah, I sent a, a tweet out saying, yo, Fraser, thinking about doing a response to this. He's like, all right, cool. But anyways, so just to kind of catch you up on this situation, because I've been thinking about it since it happened. I was like, should I make a video on this? And then seeing Fraser's video, I, I definitely wanted to. But anyways, so um, Fraser, Alex, Jack, have all made videos on people like Alfie Deus as well as Zoella. They are all commentary channels. They comment on the YouTube community, okay? Remember this, remember the word commentary, okay? They do this. Now, Alfie Deus invited iNabber to be on his podcast and iNabber brought I'm Alex over too, just as kind of like, you know, some support. And the first thing I'll say is, Fraser, if you watch this, like, man, <laughs> whoo, take it easy on yourself. Like, dude, you did phenomenal, phenomenal on that podcast. I remember watching it, I'm like, dude, you're, you're killing it. All right, so kudos to you. Like. I will say this, and not just because, you know, Fraser and I talk, you know, we're kind of buddies, but I will just say this, like, I think, especially this video solidifies it. In my opinion, Fraser is one of the best commentary channels on YouTube, and I'm so happy to see him grow. And the reason why I say this video that he just did solidified it is because the dude is growing and maturing and very open and honest about it. and. He touched on this in so many great ways, like so many ways that I cannot even articulate when I try to make my videos. And my channel kind of exploded in the last year, but I, I've recognized what, what Fraser's talking about, right? Like he shows old clips of himself, like he called himself out on a clip he used saying like, Zoella was scum, right? And he says like, you know, that was wrong. He doesn't think you should start a video out like that. And and yeah, like, it's so cool to see him growing and evolving on this platform and learning from this thing because that's all we can ask from anybody, right? Like so many people point out these small little things like nitpicking, like Fraser was talking about it, taking these like small little things, these little clips, these little phrases, da da da, and like nitpicking them, right? And like, that's just kind of what blows my mind about society as a whole, is that we want, we want to say like, oh, oh, well, remember what you said this time? Remember what you said months ago or years ago? As if people are supposed to stay the same forever, right? Like you're supposed to have one opinion and never change it. And Fraser has been very open, especially in, you know, some recent videos just about how his opinions are changing, how he's growing as a creator, he's changing the way he words things and does things, he's picking his topics a little bit more carefully. And that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love watching his channel, because he acknowledges this. I'm not saying that no other creators do this, but what I appreciate about Fraser is that he kind of takes us along that journey with him so we can see it. Because sometimes I like, I watch a creator and I wonder if if they even acknowledge that they're doing it because I think it's important for us all to be self-aware if we're learning, if we're growing and things like that. So anyways, that whole situation when Fraser and Alex went on the Alfie Deus uh, podcast, it, it triggered Jackmate to make a video and he kind of called out I'm Alex quite a bit. And then after watching I'm Alex's live stream, it kind of got me thinking, and I, I just want to present the second half of the video to all of you to kind of ask you guys what your thoughts are on the 
commentary community and just like where these lines are, right? Because it, it really does seem like commentary on YouTube, it's huge, okay? Like a lot of you have seen what I've done to grow this channel, right? It's, it's, it's this blend of commentary with a different kind of angle that I take and all of that. Like I'm always just trying to pull lessons from everything that we consume, but commentary has been around in various other media outlets, right? There's, there's movie critics, there's food critics, right? There's critics for everything. And the YouTube commentary community comments with their opinions, their views on other YouTubers, right? And I made a video about this a long time ago. Go check it out. I use Angelica Ohl's name to kind of bring people in. Um, but I talked about crowd psychology. Like my one main concern with the commentary community as a whole, me included, is creating an echo chamber, right? Creating more and more videos that all have the same opinion, right? And a lot of these opinions are based on the opinion from another video, and a lot of them are that. They are opinions. But so many of us as viewers, or even creators like myself, we might fall into the trap where we blindly follow certain opinions. And by the way, this whole second half of the video, I'm not talking about Frazier specifically. Like I said, I just wanna kinda get your wheels turning. But what I think, from the outside looking in, of the situation that happened between Frazier and Alex and Jack, it's kind of, it's kind of seeing this line moving. So for a lot of commentary channels, you're just making videos, right? You're making videos, you have an opinion about something, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna sit down and make a video on this. But as your channel begins to grow, you start to meet these other creators. You start to meet these, these people who are in the same realm as you. And it seemed, it seemed from the outside looking in, that Jack was upset with Alex for not going as hard on Alfie Days, but what Alex was talking about was like, he's met this dude, he has context on this guy, right? So he doesn't have that same harsh opinion that he does. But that's, that's where it gets a little, a little tricky, right? our opinions often change of people once we meet them. Like with all of the stuff that I've been through, I've had plenty of people who left, plenty of people who stopped talking to me, but I've had plenty of people who stuck around because they have context on me, right? So they can look at videos being created about me and say, well, I know Chris, and that doesn't line up with what I know about him, right? So when we look at people like Alex, and Frazier, who met Alfie Days, like their context of him has changed. Now, they may not, they may still not agree with everything that Alfie's done, but Jack, Jack is in a different situation. So for all commentary channels, it's just fascinating to me because their opinions can change based on whether or not they meet the person. Because something else has come up a lot. I did a live stream a while back that I, I just set to unlisted, but I said like, if I start talking about YouTubers again, what would you recommend? And the number one suggestion, the number one suggestion was, you should get their permission. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so for, for example, like one of the reasons that's silly is when you're a smaller YouTuber and you reach out to a bigger YouTuber, they, they don't answer you like that. So, so that is a weird standard to set because what if they never answered you, right? And, and the other thing is too, something that came up and a lot of you know about my situation, how I'll say it, the Trisha Paytas situation and Frazier actually made a video about that that I still appreciate to this day. But Trisha Paytas asked me to stop making videos on her. So where does that line go as well? If, if let's say Angelica Oles or Jack or Alex or Frazier or you know any commentary channel, if a YouTuber reaches out and says, hey, please stop making videos about me, should they stop? And I'm asking you this as an audience because the way I view commentary channels is two things. One is their opinion, but two, to call out behavior that they don't agree with or they think might be bad for the community. So do you think it's fair or even right or justified for a creator to say, yo, stop making videos about me if it doesn't align with the commentary channel's views on I'm calling out certain behavior. But the, the last thing I kind of want to touch on is, again, these are opinions. 
these are things where they only matter as much as we think they matter in our own mind, right? So just because we're talking about Zoella, Alfie Days and things like that, I don't follow those too much. But I remember when Zoella's advent calendar came out and there were just so many videos about how it was a ripoff and all these and da 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 and all that. And like, I'm sitting back here and like, I'm like, yeah, I think that's a ripoff, but I just wouldn't buy it. You know what I mean? But like, I've, I've worked at a variety of, pff, hell, I worked in the car dealership industry and I worked in service and the markup on parts, like parts to fix your cars is insane. It is mind blowing because on my computer screen, I can say, here's the cost, here's the price we're selling it for. It's bananas, right? Like, did you know when you go out to like a fast food place and you pay however much you pay for like a, a drink, like most of what you're paying for is just the cup. You're not even necessarily paying for the drink. And that's what I'm saying is like when, like when people are going after it, so I'm like, oh my God, you're charging so much for this. I'm like sitting there, I'm like, eh. Like a lot of businesses do that. And what we're seeing is we're seeing more YouTubers becoming entrepreneurs and things like that. Now. Like Fraser said about Jack, Jack has his right to his own opinion. He has his right to his own opinion. But again, my concern is the echo chamber that it creates. Because in reality, when we look at the value of things and how much things cost and all of that, like it's all really how much value we put on it. Like there's so many things that I would never buy. Like I'm not like a, uh, 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 like tech fanatics, right? Like I am not gonna go spend thousands of dollars on a new TV. Like the last two or three TVs I've had have been given to me for free just because I don't place that much value on a TV. But I place more value on a computer because I like to play video games and things like that. So it's these are just things that I, I kind of want everybody to start thinking about, but in general, like, I enjoy the commentary community. I like seeing other people's opinions on things, but I think all of us as a whole, what we need to do is take a step back and really form our own opinions and try to look from a wider lens of what's going on. Does this creator know that creator? Does this creator have enough context on this other person? How do I feel? Do I know something about this creator that maybe this commentary channel might have missed, right? But I do think it is a necessity to have commentary channels here on the platform. And it's, it's, it's kind of just like policing behaviors, right? Because YouTubers, as well as many other influencers, whether it's, you know, just social media or celebrities or whoever it is, they have a massive influence on a younger audience who is easily influenced. So it's good to have content creators out there who are calling out certain behaviors. And that's just my opinion. But again, I'll finish with this. Frazier, I thought you did amazing on that podcast, even though we didn't get to see the, the whole thing. Um, you're a great commentary channel, all right? So if you haven't subscribed to iNabber yet, make sure you go do so, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.